Welcome back to Buddha Builds. Today, we'll make a skid plate. So the factory trucks come with super thin sheet metal. It's less than a sixteenth of an inch thick. And if you hit a rock like I did, the differential mount just pops right through. See that crack? That engine, engine skid too, super thin. Today we'll be making this. It's a new skid plate made out of one eighth inch steel. So like, comment, and subscribe to follow. Okay, so first things first, we got off the, uh, the uh, oil pan skid. And now it's time to take off the lower support bars. This has a uh, three 17 millimeter bolts and this has a uh, two 17 mils. So let's crank those off quick. Cut these off. I set up my little laser. It's a laser level. It shoots out a little cross here like that on the, the, the center cross beam. I made it a 12 inches mark. Measure 12 inches over to here and set that line up. Cause my skid plate's gonna be uh, 24 inches long. So from that line, I'm gonna measure in to where the bolts are gonna be lining up. And then I'll write it down on a piece of paper. This is roughly what it's gonna be. And then I'll measure over from the, my laser line and write down where the holes are gonna line up. So I'll be doing that and come back to you. Okay, so here's my plan. It looked confusing cause it is confusing for me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but it doesn't stop me from doing it. But these are all my measurements of where the holes are going. Uh, these two, I'll need some spacers. This one's going to be three inches tall, and this one, I believe, an inch. Just to give the uh, differential and the differential mount some clearance. And uh, what we'll be using is one eighth of an inch. I bought a two by four foot sheet of uh, steel. I really only need 38 inches, but the cutoffs I'll use will be one inch strips to uh, give support, which you'll see later in the video as I, as I build. Okay, the reason why I chose eighth inch is primarily for weight since it is my daily driver and occasional wheeler. It's almost three times the thickness as the factory skids and I'm sure it'll hold up just fine for my uses. And if you're trying to build this, you can use any thickness you feel comfortable with. The tool I'm using here is just your standard circular saw but with a fiber blade for cutting steel. I wish you could find a Diablo steel beam, but uh, locally I couldn't find one at all. So I used this. I figured it would save me some time, but it was very loud and messy. But it did give me some straight cuts. So I got my six one inch strips cut out. They're one by 24. On the last cut, that's going to be the width of my uh, the skid plate or the length of it. I used uh, a stopper so this cuts nice and straight. All the other ones I just freehanded. And uh, when you're using a tool like this, make sure you wear your PPE because as you can see, you don't want that going in your lungs. So I got my uh, my marks laid out according to the plan. Uh, two, 275 down here, 350 in. Then from the base, it's 24 and a half, and then 625 in, and then 325 in up here. So now we just gotta punch the holes. I'm gonna be using a hole saw, uh, drill out a slug, and then I have a inch and a half by a 120 wall tubing. That I'll be using as my spacers. Just cut that down and use the plugs from the hole saw to patch in this the top piece. So that's the plan. So here's the finished one of my spacers. Now I'm just gonna drill about a half inch hole through the middle of that, and then weld this to the plate. I got the other ones right here. I got the three inch spacer, the other three inch, and the uh, other inch and a half. Gonna let those cool, grind, grind the tops down flat, and then drill the hole. To make my bends, I'm using the whiskey bend method like I did in my previous video. To do it, you just cut partially through the steel to make a weak point, and then you bend it to your, your certain angle, and then when you're done, you weld up the seam to give it back its strength.
All right, perfect. We got this right at uh, 20 degrees. Now we just gotta bend this top lip flat. Okay, just finished up all the welds on this bend. They don't look half bad. I just need to hit them with the wire wheel. But yeah, now time to do a weld up the spacers. And then we gotta figure out the ribs for the sides. And there's gonna be one going down the middle. And then tomorrow, it's currently dark out and really rainy. But tomorrow we'll figure out where the hole has to go for the, uh, the drain plug. Uh-oh. It's gonna be time for a new drill. After like two years of uh, pretty heavy use, she's calling it quits. Oh, that's a sad day. Well, it looks like I'm gonna call it a night. I'll get back here tomorrow. Probably have to get a new drill and then, uh, just gonna drill out these guys again, and then we'll work on the, the spines and that oil filter. All right, see you guys in the morning. All right, we're back working on the skip plate now. Got a new drill, it's the Milwaukee Fuel, and a new piece of metal. Actually messed up measuring, and uh, my mounts were about a half inch off. So cut my losses, got a new piece. But don't worry, that piece I had before, that's gonna be the next project for the next video, so stay tuned. So what we're working on next, we're taking these strips from uh, the piece I first cut, and we're gonna be adding some ribs through here. I roughly have the uh, estimated areas where I'm gonna put them. Right here is where the diff sits, so you do wanna make sure you don't run right into it. All right, just finished welded all the gussets in. Here's the uh, after result. I just bolted it up too, everything lines up and it clears the differential perfectly. Now all we gotta do is paint. So to install it uses the factory hardware, the, well, four 17 mils and then uh, the two 14 mils, I believe, in the back. So here's the finished result. I got awesome clearance around everything. Bolted up perfectly. It's a steep ringer too, so I have a better uh, approach angle at 40 degrees rather than that 20, 23 degrees I think the factory one is. So for about 80 bucks and a few hours of your time, you can replace these guys and protect yourself from rocks. All right, everyone, see you at the next video.